yes, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Wazone Jones coming right back at your MMA topic video. I haven't done an MMA video in so long, but hey, I'm back. I might as well do another one now. UFC 171. It was an okay night of fights, you know. We had a, a fight that ended really, really quickly, which was the first fight of the night. And we had a fight that was so damn bad, it wouldn't surprise me if you fell asleep. Because that fight was literally that boring. <clears throat> but, other than that, you know, the other fights were pretty damn good and pretty entertaining. Especially the main event of the night. But I'm going to get to that later, so let me get my notes first. Yes, we had Diego Sanchez versus... Miles Jury. Now, before I let you, before I get started, exactly, I'm just gonna main. I'm gonna basically talk about the main hype fights, which we're gonna start with Diego Sanchez versus Miles Jury. <clears throat> basically, in this fight, Diego Sanchez had nothing for Miles Jury. He literally didn't. He didn't have nothing for Miles Jury. Miles Jury pretty much dominated the fight, not in a devastating fashion, but he pretty much dominated the fight. You know, he score more points he was the busier guy he pretty much controlled that whole damn fight literally and he did win so miles jury did win this fight as a matter of fact <clears throat> miles jury after the fight literally says i didn't expect to beat diego sanchez that easily literally i don't want to say it was easy for him but you know I could sort of say why he would say that, but because, you know, he pretty much won all three rounds. But, yeah, because Diego Sanchez, he didn't have nothing for him. He he really didn't have nothing for him. But I wouldn't necessarily say that he, like, made it, like, as easy as pie, like, you know, like that. But moving on from that fight, Miles Jury is your winner. We had Carlos Condit versus Tyrone Woodley. This was a pretty good fight. It was so sad that this fight had to end so quickly, especially in the fashion that it did in the second round. Tyrone Woodley looked it awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. As a matter of fact, the man looked it so damn good, he now has me as a fan. I am now becoming a fan of Tyrone Woodley. This guy was hitting Carlos Condit with hard shots to the face. He didn't release, like, at least two or three, like, really good, clean, hard shots to the face. You know, he, this guy is as strong and as fast as they say that he is. So, this, he is really explosive. Uh, he was taking Carlos Condit down. At some point in the fight, when he took Carlos Condit down, Carlos Condit had hurt his leg or his knee somewhere, you no know, within his lower body. Um, we'll find out eventually exactly what, like, whether it was his knee or not. I know Joe Rogan said it looked like he tore his ACL. Maybe it was. But after a while, you know, in the second round, Tyrone really gave him a leg kick to the leg. And when he did that, Carlos Condit turns around. He does a whole turn. As soon as he get kicked in the leg, he turns around and he goes falling, tumbling down. Literally. So... <coughs> Tyrone Woodley wins this fight. Tyrone Woodley moves up in the ranks. Tyrone really, 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 really looked good in this fight. He pretty much, I want to say almost dominated Carlos Condit. And Carlos Condit is a very good fighter. So if he gets a shot at the title next, hey, you're not going to get any argument for me. Like, I'm not going to complain at all. Like, he looked really, really good, and he's improving. Next... We had the main event fight of the night. We had Johnny Hendricks versus Robbie Lawler for the UFC Walter Weight title. This is the fight we all been waiting for. This is the fight that we all was hoping to be a knockout, drag him out, brawl. And ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what it was. These guys brought it. These guys fought tooth and nail. They wanted the title. And one of them got the title. And that was Johnny Hendricks. Hendricks, Johnny Hendricks, comes out as your new UFC Walter Waite champion. So Johnny Hendricks finally gets the belt like he should have had got when he had fall GSP, but he has the belt now. <clears throat> we don't even need to bring that crap up. But, you know, with him getting screwed with GSP, we don't even need to bring it up because he has the belt now. This was a really, really good fight. These guys was literally trying to knock each other out. As expected, you know, he was... Landed clean shots. You know, 
Johnny Hendricks was landing clean shots. Robbie Lawler was landing clean shots. And, you know, it, it looked like to me like, you know, Johnny was about to go out in the, I think it was the third round. And I'm starting to think, okay, Robbie Lawler, it looked like he's about to take this title, you know. And I sort of wanted Robbie Lawler to win. He was the guy who I sort of wanted to win more, maybe because I was a fan of him, you know, longer. But it didn't, it just didn't come out that way, you know. Johnny Hendricks was able to stay in the fight and win the title. He had took him down in the fifth round, and basically, <coughs> baseball won the fight for him right there, too, when he took him down in the fifth round and basically kept him down. You know, he landed a couple of punches, nothing devastating, nothing too clean, but he was landing those punches, and he controlled them on the ground, too. So, Johnny Hendricks is your new UFC welterweight champion, ladies and gentlemen. We have a new champion. The champ is here, Johnny Hendricks. As far as who's going to get a title shot next for the, uh, for, the, you know, for the 175 belt, we don't know yet. I don't think it's going to be Tyrone Woodley, but we just have to wait and see. I wouldn't mind if it be Tyrone Woodley. I think that would be a good fight between those two guys. Uh, the worst fight of the night was... Hector Lombard versus Jake Shears. Oh, God, this fight sucked. <coughs> this fight was boring. This fight was slow. Did nothing even really happen. Uh, Jake Shears was cut up a little bit, but nothing really exciting happened in the fight. Hector Lombard, uh, he, he's not going to get a shot at this title. Not, not at all. Hector Lombard... He, I don't know what the hell was Hector Lombard doing. He didn't really, he was winning the fight, but it's like he didn't go for the finish. So, I don't know what happened there. You know, he, he looked like to me like he could have finished Jake Shields. But I was hoping Jake Shields would win because I'm a bigger fan of him than I am Hector Lombard. But Jake Shields didn't really do anything either. But that's because he couldn't. Uh, it looked like he was too skinny, to be honest with you. But that's probably because he's standing next to Hector Lombard, and Hector Lombard looked like to me. To me, the man looks more like a heavyweight, to be honest with you, with his big, giant Terminator physique. <coughs> so, excuse my coughing, because I know I'm coughing a lot for some reason. Hopefully, I'm not getting sick. This is was on Jones. That is my review of UFC 171. I thought it was a pretty decent show. The main event was awesome. Trust me, if you want to buy this pay-per-view just for the main event, it is well worth your money. So, this is what's on Jones. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. I'm out. Deuces.